In this video, we're going to look at various ways to join or concatenate strings together in PHP. We'll start with the string operators. The first is the concatenation operator, which is a dot or a period. This returns the concatenation of its left and right arguments. The second is the concatenating assignment operator, which is a dot and an equals sign. This appends the value on the right to the value on the left. This is for when you have an existing variable that contains a string, and you want to append a string to the end of it. You can, of course, use the concatenation operator more than once in a single statement, joining several strings together at once. If you do need to split this up onto more than one line, it's common to put the operator at the start of the next line instead of the end of the previous one, as this is clearer. Alternatively, you could just use the concatenating assignment operator like this. Talking of style, if you're following the PSR coding style guidelines, which I recommend, you need to leave a space before and after the operator. So instead of this, put a space before and after the operator like this. This is also much clearer. The second way to join strings together is to use variable interpolation. This is when you insert the value of a variable directly into another string. For this, you have to use a double quoted string or a here doc. If you use a single quoted string, it won't work. This works if it's obvious where the end of the variable is, in other words, if it's followed by a space or a punctuation character. However, this code, for example, will cause an error, as PHP doesn't know where the variable name ends. To get around this, you can surround the value in curly braces. This also works if you want to have a more complex value interpolated, for example, an object property or an array element. There's another way to include variables inside strings using the sprintf function. The first argument to the function is a string that contains placeholders where you want the variables to go. Then the rest of the arguments are the values that will replace these placeholders. This is useful if you also want to apply some formatting to the variables when they're substituted. There are other functions similar to sprintf, like printf, which does the same, but immediately outputs the string. These are just variations on sprintf, however, and sprintf is the one you'll see most commonly used. If all you want to do is output several strings, then you can use echo. Instead of concatenating the strings together with the concatenation operator, you can simply separate them with a comma. Doing this is faster than concatenating the strings together. This only works when echoing out content, however, and not when assigning it to a variable. Finally, if you have an array that contains several strings, and you're concatenating them together in a loop like this, including a common separator, which in this case is a comma, then it might be faster and clearer to use the array implode function. This takes an array and returns a string with all the array elements joined together, with an optional separator string to place between the elements. So we can replace the for each loop with a simple call to this function. Note that this is only really recommended if you already have an array that you want to join together. It might not be worth building an array of strings just so you can use the implode function. As for performance, the string operators will generally be quicker than using the implode function. Echo is faster if you use commas, and variable interpolation is pretty much the same speed as concatenation. Having said that, 
there is no real-world difference between all these methods for concatenating strings. Unless you're building huge strings, and you need to concatenate a lot of strings together in one script, then I would prioritize code readability over performance, as you can always optimize any string concatenation code later on if you need to.